In this video we'll briefly discuss what is ketoprofen, and how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, and contraindications and precautions. Ketoprofen is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication. It decreases inflammation, pain and fever, through inhibition of cyclooxygenase activity and prostaglandin synthesis. It is available as tablets, syrup, suppositories, injection, and gel for topical application. Ketoprofen is used in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, and mild to moderate pain, such as temporary relief of minor aches and pains associated with common cold, headache, toothache, muscular aches and backache, minor arthritis pain, menstrual cramps, and reduction of fever. The usual dose of ketoprofen for rheumatoid arthritis or osteoarthritis for adults is 75 mg 3 times per day or 50 mg 4 times per day, and the maintenance dose is 150 to 300 mg in 3 to 4 divided doses. So the maximum dose is 300 mg per day. And for mild to moderate pain and primary dysmenorrhea, the usual dose for adults is 25 to 50 mg every 6 to 8 hours as needed. And the maximum dose is also 300 mg per day. Ketoprofen may cause dizziness, tinnitus, edema, epigastric pain, gastrointestinal bleeding, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and rash. It is contraindicated in case of hypersensitivity to ketoprofen or cross-sensitivity with other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications and aspirin. Ketoprofen should be administered with food or milk to avoid gastrointestinal and esophageal irritation. And it may be given with antacids if stomach upset occurs. Discontinue medication if rash develops and contact your physician. And also report these symptoms to your physician. Rash, visual problems, dark stools, decreased urinary output, persistent headache or stomach pain and unusual bruising or bleeding, fluid retention and shortness of breath. Avoid intake of alcoholic beverages and also avoid taking any OTC medications, including aspirin and ibuprofen or other prescription medications, without consulting your physician. Avoid prolonged exposure to sunlight and use sunscreen or wear protective clothing to avoid photosensitivity reaction. And finally, this medication may also cause drowsiness, so use caution while driving or performing other activities requiring mental alertness. That's all for this video. Make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more animated medical videos like this one, and also check our recommended products in the description.